three and out uh, on the first drive by Neshoba, but 0-2, uh, but they played some good competition. Yeah, uh, Grafton and Longmeadow, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't... Yeah, it's hard to say. I mean, you know, if you look at the score, it was a 43-7 to loss yep. and a 35-3. to On paper, it looks pretty bad, but uh, they... Uh, might have stopped them there. We'll see where the uh, ref spots it. Close to the first see down. First down. Yep. Move the Head chains. Number eight, Jason Crispin for Ashland. First down. Yeah. So it's so as we were saying, it's tough to really say on paper. It looks like it could be a blowout. The Vegas line has uh, Ashland in favor by 14. Oh wow. 14 so. and a half. 14 even. Okay. 14 even. Possibility for a push. Yeah, that's that's correct. <laughs> rankings, The I was looking earlier, uh, state rankings, I think Ashland currently ranked. Uh, this is a handoff to Ozalumba, who picks up a chunk of six yeah, yards. But Kevin Ashland, Ozalumba. I believe, is 157, ranked 157, and uh, wow. Neshoba 168. Okay. Strength of schedule so far. I mean, strength of schedule is kind of hurting Ashland a little bit. Mm -hmm. But if they win their games, then they'll be fine. Um, yeah, yeah. The uh, strength of schedule that is what happened uh, my senior year. We were undefeated in the regular season, but you play teams in your division, and divisions lower. It uh, doesn't help you out in the. Uh, the playoff ranking. So we uh Anthony rolls to his left. Got jobbed a little bit. Looks like Rudisil coming yep. back for it. Nice job by the defender to knock that one away. Might have been uh, Dylan Devine or Luke Babino. Complete brings up third down. Good to see the number across the field. Well, I'll tell you one team that's going to be uh, help to strength the schedule is Holliston. Holliston Division Two. They're ranked. They're ranked pretty high. They're top, I think, uh, top 20, and they're playing wow. number six Milton tonight. They really stacked their schedule. They yeah. lost to Foxborough last week, yep. and they forget who they beat the first week of the year, but a good team. D2, is that a bump up, or are they, have they been I don't know, unless I, unless I saw that incorrectly, but uh -huh. Antonek back to pass. Plenty of time, gets them yeah. from behind. Dangerous tackle yeah. low and, and high, but that's yeah. going to bring up a punt. Yeah, he had time, but I was smart to tuck the ball away. I saw he wanted to look. He was looking downfield, but if he pulls that back and gets stripped, I mean, yeah, gives Neshoba really good field position. So it's a smart play by Cam. Yeah, I don't mind uh, taking, taking the uh, sack, playing yep. for field position. Yep. Punting kind of is not a strong point. They got number 34. Who do we get? Is that 34 on the uh, yep. kicker? Oliver LaRoe. He's a soft Good snap, one. good blocking. A little better. Pretty good punt there. Yeah. Good job fielding that one. Fair catch. Start at 31. So it was number 11, Hunter Bernard. By number 11, Hunter Bernard. Yep. <laughs> First and 10 from the 26 yard line. Again, if you're just joining us, we're uh, six minutes to go in the first quarter. No score. And the Shelba Wolves playing the Ashland Clockers. Rob Silver with Dylan Drozik. Did the uh, did the limo get to UNH on time to pick you up? <laughs> or did you use your own transportation? Uh, oh, good job uh, yeah. by uh, Omari Lee, I believe. Yep, yep. Four, yeah, good job not getting uh, sucked Taco inside there. 55. Keeping Omari his outside Lee. shoulder free. Making that tackle. No, no, I drove myself, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> a lot of uh, a lot of four down linemen, uh, I've noticed in these past two games. I know last year, the year before that, ran a lot of three man. Uh, what's what's the advantage of one versus the other? Um. So we. What's the strategy? It, it, it basically, it. it basically gives you an extra linebacker on the field. We'll pitch. So, yep. Good tackle by 
Devin O'Brien. Are you more apt to run the have the four if you think it's a running game versus a passing game or? Um, I, I, I think it all depends on uh, personnel too. Okay. So if you think you know if you think you got four studs and you want to that are you know D linemen and you want them on the field, you run that. I mean we were mm -hmm. we were linebacker heavy between you know Gillis, Antonok, McGoff, like. So we we, you know, tended to run a three, three down lineman sets, but mm -hmm. with the pass in the flat, should be enough for a first down. Yep. Good play call. Tackle by number six, Tyler Pine. That's definitely a, That's definitely lineman. a first down. first down. That's the first first down of the night for either team. Oh no no, Ashlyn had one. Four. Yep. Yeah, meaningless comment to begin with, and then it was wrong. So. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and refrain from uh, any trivia tonight. I know you you weren't a big fan during the basket. I thought <laughs> it was going to be Ashland based trivia. All right, I'll, I'll try and think it's an <laughs> Ashland based trivia. No, I, I did not do too hot in the uh, the trivia we did before that. Joba pushes it up the middle for three yards. <coughs> Brings up second and seven. How's the UNH team? Uh, they won the last week, uh, and they lost the week before that. I, I, I believe we're two and one. Uh, we, had a, we had a really good season last year. I saw Dom Kavanaugh hasn't played yet, though. I don't, I don't think. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. I know, I know last year he was... Uh, He's he did he did get minutes. Uh, I saw him on. He's know, listed as a sophomore because of the yep. COVID year and the retro, the retro or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But I had seen him at the uh, golf tournament and talked to him. So. Yep. But he's a senior. Yeah. Yeah. So how does that work? If you want to play, do you have to stay in school in some capacity, or what do you do? Just hang around the dorms? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I I think you do have to be a student. <coughs> in um, some. Yeah. 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 Manner. Yeah. I'm sure you can. Going to like a, a master's program mm -hmm. or something, something like that. I don't know. False start on Neshoba moves it back five yards. Brings up second and 12. Let's see if we can pick one off. Throwing. Roll That's up. the first step. You need a throw. <laughs> nice hit by Crispin. Yeah, good break up there. Not a bad throw though. No, no, that was that was in his hands a little high, but yeah, definitely uh, definitely catchable. Yeah, third and long. I think we're gonna look at a uh, three down lineman set like I was talking about. Mm-hmm. At another uh, at another back on the field. Third and twelve from the thirty-six yard line. So that's Captain Matt Terry, Vince Marmelstein, and Amari Lee on the line there. I think that's Terry. Yeah, Terry's in the middle, yep. 54. Another One. rollout. Ashland's ready for Could it. He picked, yep. Atta boy, that's, uh, that's Kevin. Pass intercepted by number 23, Kevin. Ozalumba. Yep. So he's a sophomore. I was talking with with um, one of the coaches, and uh, uh -huh. great things to say about him. Explosive runner, just oh, a yeah. great all-around athlete. So uh -huh. he shows some of his skills there. Looks good, sounds good. We're on YouTube tonight. Okay. Yep. Um, I think I have. Uh, I have. I actually found. The, I think I have the link. Paul Boog was just helping me out here. WACA.
but take it away, Dylan. <laughs> now then the uh, the play by play now, Rob figuring something out. Design QB run for Anthony. Gains a few, looking at a uh, third and five, maybe. Cam Antonuk keeps the ball, gains two yards. Third down and five. All right. Up to 1,003 viewers now that I'm logged in. 1,000, really? Well, 17, I read that one. I was about so to say, that doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> My eyes are bad. It's got to be a record, right? Who's on the field? Oh, cool. So third and uh, third and six. Yep. Time running out in the first quarter. Jet sweep. Decides to Working cut it back. It's gonna be a little short. We were talking oh. about. So we we're talking about Kevin uh, Uzawumba. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if I butchered that. First, wait Kevin before you. Yeah. I I don't like the rush. They can run out the clock and decide. There you go. As long as they weren't planning on running the play, because yeah. generally speaking, when they hurry it and they try and quick snap or something like that, it almost nine times out of ten, the offense ends up coming out no, the worst yeah. or end of the stick. But that was good. No, they they got the offsides. Yeah, so they were was. definitely looking for uh, uh, an offsides there. Um, so, Kevin. Yeah, yeah, up. yeah. No, so, I mean, both sides as a sophomore, um, died very uncommon, so. Uh, he's definitely one of their better players. And also, I mean, I heard he's talented, but I, I, he's a hard worker too, which is, I think, takes it to another level. I mean, if you, like watching some of the games, even stock blocking and, uh, and special the teams and things stuff Things that too. you don't see on yeah, paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and uh, the coaches notice that, uh -huh. and that's why he's playing as a sophomore. Yeah, yeah, and that's the kind of stuff that, uh, you know what I mean, like your, your teammates see that and makes them work harder too, so. Some of the, yeah, behind the scenes stuff, like you were saying. Uh, so yeah, I, I mean, I was watching those, the, the Dover game and the uh, the Whaling game. I, I, I liked what I saw. I think as a sophomore mm -hmm. too, I think he's got a lot of, a lot of potential. The team looks like they have a lot of upside. You know, like a lot of raw yep. talent, and uh, if Cam, you know, can kind of take over the leadership or the the captains, yep. you know, and they all come together. Yeah, There's yeah. definitely a lot of potential. I know that for sure, and and I mean last year was that was a that was a pretty young team, yeah. Uh, only a couple returners really. Still time to so I think a ton of a lot of these kids got good Ashton's minutes last year too. Yeah, we were a little weak at quarterback. No, nothing against uh, Pat Trinnell's. Yeah, he just never was a throwing quarterback. Yeah. He was a runner, and you know is very adept at running and a good athlete. Yep. But you know, he's just. Uh, I don't, and the, the throwing, it's something that you kind of have mean, to work at at a young a, age, exactly. you know. And and with, a, with a spread offense, too. I mean, you got to, yeah, you got to be able to get the uh, get the ball to your so receivers. Ashland going the other way. Pitch to Ozalumba. Back in gunk. I love it. I love it's it. Pretty much, yeah. The second quarter, that's <laughs> what they do. That's his yep. MO. Yep. So Ozalumba had the interception and uh, keep key part of the offense here. Wouldn't be surprised if you saw him break one. I did predict the interception. Yep. Uh, we'll see what happens. Either Antonuk or Ozalumba. Crispin maybe, yeah. And he gets the ball here. Crispin, if he gets to the outside. Oh, oh tripped up. Just tripped up, exactly, yeah. He scored eight. the first Jason touchdown of the year on a 19-yard run, That's very similar to that yeah. from the 19-yard line. He was able to just get outside and, and beat everybody. Yeah. yeah, you're right. He is good at that. I mean, I mean, everyone's obviously bunched up in gunk right there. So when he sees everyone like that, he's, I saw him bounce it outside. Now, you played, against, you played against that yep. offense because Holliston oh, kind of yeah. is, you know, famous for it. What's it like? We'll check that out in a second. Ozalumba. There you go. Still wow. fighting. Wow. Needed three guys to bring him oh, down. Yeah. Gets four hard yards. But like so what's that. it like, you know, being on the defensive side? You just don't, how do you know who has the ball? It's, it's terrible. It's terrible. And Holliston is re they're really good at it. And that year they they had some studs 
on the line and their skill players too, but that's the whole thing is the there's so much misdirection in the backfield and you know what I mean Cam can fake the pitch, keep it, he could pitch it. See right there. You, right, you exactly. I mean? He's wide open if he can beat Here this he guy. Goes. Still running. That's a good game. But see exactly right there. So it's I mean you do you almost have to gamble on like one play and then have everybody kind of make sure they're staying at home? Yeah, to like I mean, sort of. Yeah, that's the that's the best way you can uh, you can defend it is just you know what I mean, doing your role and, and keeping your assignments. But it's so it's so jumbled that it's yeah, easy. It's exactly it's yeah. easy to uh, to get lost, and then that's when you see those breakaways. You know, one or two people miss an assignment. Right, everyone's packed in there. It's almost right. like at the end of a, you know, a foot pro game. You know, right. they're all packed in trying to stop fourth and one. To, yep. You know, with a minute left, and uh -huh. all of a sudden they break it for a touchdown. Yeah, and you, you just so there's so much blue jerseys, white jerseys everywhere, and then nobody. Back. And then no one knows where the ball is. Yeah. But yeah, and when you're and you know when Gunk's working too for the defense, it's so. Uh, disheartening you know what I mean because mm -hmm. it's it's like six yards six yards seven yards eight yards just and it'll be like a it'll be like a five six minute drive just like all the way down the field so yeah that's what I think happened in the in the, the DS game I think hopefully that's how this game goes too I think Cam keeps it there up the middle fighting Pretty Should impressive. Uh, oh, he's right at the sticks. See if he waves them up. He yeah, does. Get a first gives him the 10 yards. Number four, Cam Antonak, up the middle. And it just gives you so many options because then, for another Ashland, for I mean, I know uh, McKay doesn't like to show his hand, but, you know, at some point he's just going to send somebody out of the backfield and, yeah, yep. Yep. and he's going to be wide open. Yeah, they, I, they, uh, I remember doing that. Uh, Against Norwood. Yeah, I think hit. Kramer, maybe someone. Uh, they did it the last game, uh, the, the Dover game I watched. They hit the. Oh little, yeah, yeah, they, they did. The, yeah, excuse they me. They hit the yeah, little slip way pass. Back when, yeah. yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah in the first week. They and did look at, I think we he's just wide open. Spoke oh. it. Good job oh. catching up by yeah. the defender. Just predicted it. It was a need a little more underneath it, so. Uh, that's that's the only thing I've I've seen with his passes needs a little bit more air under it. So mm -hmm. either Rudisil, who can leverage his height and his jumping ability, yep. can you know r either run under it or you know get back and just out out jump the guys. Yeah. No, he's, uh, his arms definitely impressed me. Uh, he threw a lot, obviously a lot more in the Whalen game uh, that I watched, but so second and ten. Stay in gunk. Wow. Even there to get the Game four yards, that guy yep. was right at his feet. And He's a tough runner, yeah. Sometimes the bodies, it looked like the bodies were bothering him more than it was the uh, the defenders. Couldn't get around him. Yeah, they got a they got a good backfield back there. And they're uh, the line, too. They, they, they've been sticking with their assignments. So third and seven, scoreless game, seven and a half to go in the second quarter. A little different set. Pitch to Crispin, pushes it up the middle. Should be enough. Close. Let's see where this ball is spotted. Eight, yeah, first down. So it's first and goal on the four-yard line. Ashland, first down. Let's go. First and goal from the four-yard line. Looked like they had that covered. He just powered his way through. Yep. Didn't really yep. seem like there was uh, much of an opening. No, no. They stay in their assignments and keep blocking to the whistle. All right, That's who do nice you think? Who game. do you think gets this one? I think Cam. Cam. Oh, Kevin. Yep, can't. Oh, we're we're full, but it's a touchdown regardless <laughs> of uh, who carried Maybe it in. I we'll I find out. In the I side. think I fell for the pitch. Well, short. Short. So no who, one who scored. Was somebody was raising their hands. I, might have, right. I, think, I think it was Cam. I think I fell for the pitch. I think so. <laughs> it's okay. Looks like second and goal from inside. I guess it was a good fake yard. then. If you were on the defensive line, you would have 
tackled him I, I for a loss. <laughs> you wouldn't you wouldn't have fall for fell for it. Gonna stay in gunk here, right? In uh one yard line. Oh, I lied. I lied. Looks like a little wildcat. Looking offense. That's a touchdown. That's uh, Devin O'Brien. Touchdown, number 11, Devin O'Brien. So Devin O'Brien brings yeah. it in from the one yard line. Lined up at quarterback. Oh, was he lined up? At, I, did he I, take the pitch? Yeah, I think he took the snap. Yeah, I, I, they ran yes. that. Yes, we got the replay now. Yeah, oh, WACA showing the replay. I forgot. Sweet. Beautiful. We got everything working here. Shout out to uh, our crew downstairs, yep. Paul Bowden, and uh, I think it's Paul Hall. Oh, uh, Jeff Hall. Jeff Hall. Excuse me. PAT missed. Yeah, um, have to watch the replay on that. On the on the miss yep. extra point. Yeah, I missed that, but I d I saw that Wildcat look. In the Wayland game, I believe. Uh, this? No, no, no. The one they scored the touchdown yep. on. I think that got blocked, maybe. Um, we get a apologies yeah. from Mackie Coach up on the uh, extra point uh, miss. Um, <laughs> miss I've n I, that must be new. I've, I I don't think we ever ran that. So. Yeah, was that Taysen, Taysen Hill? The yeah. Saints? <laughs> um, yeah, so a quick uh, recognition of our, our crew tonight. We have... Uh, a lot of people here. So Paul Bowden running the show, but we have Alicia Hall on camera tonight. Welcome to the crew, Alicia. Jeff Hall, that is her dad, so we do have uh, related. He's also running production downstairs. Mackie the Knife Kotov on the camera. And down on the field with the field camera is uh, Brady Montesino. Giving us some nice, Back nice looks. There's Brady the down there on the 25-yard uh, line. Two, That's sweet. Yeah, there's some great on the, shots. On the field, Cam, yep. And again, I'm Rob Silver and Dylan Drozek with me tonight. Yep. Thanks for watching. There's the kickoff down to the 15, 16-yard line. Breaks it to the outside. Yeah. Can't be happy with that. I think those... Those, on uh, defense. Yeah, no, I think those uh, gunners lane. or the, that this kickoff team didn't Freedom. stay in their lanes, but you've got to maintain where you're supposed to be at and then mm -hmm. converge to make the tackle. But, yeah, no, he, he, he bounced that out for a little. Uh, a little yeah, because he didn't have a lot of momentum. He just no, kind of no, took yeah. his time. Good job by his blockers. So six nothing, five thirty seven to go. And the Wolves of Neshoba on offense from their forty one yard line. Gonna throw it to that jet man. Screen pass. Kevin. Did just Started enough. Started the contact. Yep. Look at that wave of blue. Game tackle, tackle. By, yep. I love that. Tripped up. So they get a couple yards out of it, which is fine. Yep. Like you said, Ozalumba in there just to Start, break the whole play up. He started it, slows him down, and then I yep. like to see everyone else running in to, uh, to make the play. Handoff Run. goes nowhere. Loss of a yard. The tackle by Devin. I've been. I like kind of how he's playing too. He plays with a good. Uh, he plays with a good motor. Not afraid to make a hit. Which is what you need. So the quarterback for Neshoba, just a sophomore. A lot of sophomores in this starting lineup, Not, and freshmen, all over the freshmen, all really. over the r roster. Yep. So it's a young team, obviously. Yeah. They're rebuilding, uh, so yeah, their 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 bench doesn't look too big either. When they were walking up, I was a little uh, I was a little shocked. Yep. Divine fakes the handoff. It's gonna roll out and complete. And bring fourth down. Good pursuit. Didn't really think he was gonna run there, so fortunately, nobody really fooled by that. Yeah, good three and out there. Yeah, the good coverage forced the throw out of bounds. 
So they'll be punting. Number 72 punting. Don't have him on our roster for Neshoba. Let's it go. Gotta let that go, yeah. Get away from it. Yeah. He's returning punts too, wow. Number 72. There's a Wumbo, wow. Man. So 26 and nine, eight yards, 34 yards on the punt after the roll. Ashland will take over on their 24 yard line. Want to thank our sponsors tonight. Starting with uh, Townhouse Pizza. Townhouse tonight's game brought to you by, in part by Townhouse Pizza Subs, Roast Beef and more. Be sure to fill up with the Buffalo Chicken Calzone that's oh, been yeah. called one of the best in the area located at 300 Elliott Street in Ashland. Give them a call at 508-881-3010. Find them on web on the web at townhousepizzaroastbeef.com. Went there last week and uh, mm -hmm. last Tuesday night with Josh Abrams had a phenomenal roast beef sub. Oh, yeah. It was huge. Oh, my God. Th thought he was going to break that to the yeah, outside. Yeah, so a little bit. But uh, Neshoba closed them down. And uh, Josh had the hero. Yep. And, uh, I heard that's really good, too. Yeah, really great. So shout out to uh, Manny Costa and the crew over there and thank them again for feeding us a couple pizzas tonight. There's uh, Paul nice. Bowden with a slice of pizza right there. <laughs> what do you score that, Paul? Uh, we we want to score. They're back in the gun conference. No, we want to score from you on the one, on the pizza. 1 to 10 on the pizza. We need a we need a rating. Uh, looks like you might get a holding call against Amari Lee. He um, tackled the uh, yeah. defender. Yeah. That's all. I, I, I only caught the end of it. But yeah, we're too busy talking about Take pizza. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's so that's going to be 10 yards from the move that previous line of scrimmage. Not, it's not a spot foul anymore. So it was second and six. It'll be second and 14. A good oh, wh wh whoa, is this a face? Oh, wh what are they doing? Oh. Okay. Well, I guess that's why he ended up on top of them. Yep. <laughs> Chop block on the defense. Yeah, that's surprising. But um, <laughs> that's a good. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No, yeah. Uh, they got to move the chains, too, I think. Yeah, but it's definitely a first down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They uh, that's a good call out on the uh, the bu Buffalo Chicken Calzone. That's my uh, from Townhouse. Is it? That's my go-to. All right. Oh yeah. Oh so yeah. So stamp of approval. Oh yeah. By uh, with Dylan Drozek. With the house, the house dressing too, okay. or blue, or blue cheese. Uh, either will work. Uh, and another recommendation is the. Uh, Let's see what they do. Hold on. Dake takes up. So, yeah, I'm getting carried oh. away here. Well, no, no. I just I don't know what's so confusing for sure the ref. Going, I'm not sure what's going on either. And the uh, the sideline judges. If he's going to get 10 yards, it's and it was second and six. I think they're. Okay. All right. We're back on the same page. Figure we never got a rating on the pizza. I know. From Paul. I'm not sure what's going on right now. All right. So back in the gunk. Yep. Antonuk pitches to Ozalumba. There we go. And it, he might be gone. Ozalumba, one guy to beat. Uh, Great job by the defender. Is that a, no, he, he calls him down, down. He calls was, him down. He was definitely down. But a huge shout out to number 11, Hunter Bernard, for not giving up on the play and chasing down probably yep. one of the quickest guys on the Ashland roster. For sure, yeah, that was a good, uh, that was a good hustle there. Tackle on that. Uh, what a run though. But Ozalumba with, uh, I think it was about 38 yard carry. A little bit, little bit more work in the weight room on the legs, and uh, he'll be able to outrun him next year. <laughs> yeah, he's got a, he's got a long ways to go. He's only a sophomore. I think he might be getting a bigger workload too, because Quan's out. Yeah, that I was. The, yeah. Yeah, Quan Emerald. He got hurt, I think, in uh -huh. the second quarter, mid late second uh -huh. quarter, early in the third. Whatever it was. Uh, it definitely, definitely slowed down their offense. Yeah, he's he's he was a huge weapon in the first game. Mm -hmm. He he had, uh, I think, a hundred yards rushing. Wow. Yeah, he's uh, 
he's a he's a good athlete. Captain too, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not a hundred percent sure. No. Never mind. Er, next definitely year. next. I was gonna say definitely next year. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no. I mean that he. I know last year too. Uh, he got hurt, but right in he, the first game, yeah. and he looked impressive in that game too. Exactly. So. Exactly. And he was getting good minutes, and uh, he was playing hard. So just got to see him on the field for a while. I think it'll uh, – I mean, between him and, and Kevin and Crispin, I mean, that's a pretty good running back group right there. Uh, I mean, yeah, and then and Antonuk. I yeah, mean, yeah, all, yeah. All four of them. He can run too. Oh, yeah. I know. And, the and then uh, – and now Devin O'Brien from the Wildcats. So. Yep, yep. I, uh, Swiss Army knife. Uh, yeah, the lines look good tonight, too. Uh, Nate out there, Terry. Uh, Boatsis, I believe. And, uh, so, yeah, when we come back from the timeout, it's going to be, uh, first and 10 on the 18 yard line, 229 to go here in the first half. With your Ashley and Clockers leading six to nothing. If and when they score on this drive, you think they go for two? At some point, you gotta. I, I mean, percentage wise, I'm a big fan of the two point conversion. No, ma no matter what. Mm -hmm. Well, not no matter what, because obviously yeah, yeah. there's some game situations that, you know, come into play, but. Uh, I mean. If with, you with how the it's a good run, spins, yeah. yeah. I mean, with how the kicking's gone so far, I would say go for two. Um, so the other side of that coin is is you know you want to work on it. So yep. But I mean, in, in reality, if you can make the two point conversion fifty percent of the time, that's better than making the extra point. A hunt, you have to make it a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, so I mean, the numbers game. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. I mean, in the past, they've been pretty solid, uh, you know, with the extra points. Oh, yeah. We had, uh, who's the kicker on your Super Bowl team? It was uh, Andre. Gostin yeah, oh, yeah. Gostinelli. I don't think he missed one. I don't think he missed one except no. for in, the, in Super the Super Bowl, Bowl, but I think it was a bad snap or something. Or the skinny. Oh. Or you missed, you missed a block or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't but, know about but that. But, no, there was, the, I mean, they had like 30-something 30, 30 touchdowns, uh -huh. and I don't think he missed one. Yep, and then uh, and then after that it was Julia, mm -hmm. John. Yeah, he was solid he was as well too. Pr pretty automatic. That was your yeah. senior year, right? And so junior, junior, I believe junior too. Senior, yeah. yeah, and you had a that was a pretty good offense too that year behind Luke Carter. Oh yeah, a quarterback. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, it just it's I, I don't know if it's a snapper or the holder, it's but a, it's a they're all uh, skilled uh, positions. Oh There's yeah. so many things that Bob Thacker and I used to you know talk about that. You uh -huh. mean, Three key components, Crispin. Yeah, and I, I think I don't know. I think definitely that was taken for granted because that I mean Crispin. exactly like you said one part of that Ashland. extra uh, down, extra point goes wrong, and the whole play is ruined. I mean, yeah, the snapper's got to know where First to where goal. to put it, where the holder wants it, when the kicker wants to kick it. I mean, it's mm -hmm. it's a lot. It's a ton of timing, so it's definitely easy to mess up. Flag. Oz Is that like Ozalumba yep, jumping in? Yep. That's the Kevin. There's a flag in the backfield, though. I'm not sure. Uh, uh, chop block, maybe. Oh, against on the, the defense, defense again. again. Yep. It's a touchdown. That's interesting. Let's see. Pitch to Ozalumba. Follows the Antonuk. Where? I mean. On Vince, maybe I don't. I, 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 I saw him back there. Somebody the blocking maybe Amari Lee again down low, but. Uh, hmm. Well, I mean that's how I know that's how some coaches try to stop it. Is just they just try to chop block the line and then have their line create back. a bunch of yeah, traffic exactly, like, and then have their linebackers make a play. But I mean, so they're going for two. They're in that wildcat, yep, and uh, looks like the Wolves want to think about it. Yeah, they're gonna burn burn a timeout here. So 12-0, 30 seconds to go in the half. Yeah, 
That's a huge touchdown at the end of the first half. We have two scores going in the locker room. And they get the ball, I'm pretty sure, to start the second half. Yes. Jason Crispin. So your, your two-point conversion uh, paid off. Go up 14. Yeah, and it, it's one of those things. If, if that's all you do is practice the two-point conversion, then it puts the other team at such a disadvantage if it comes to, you know, like in overtime, when you go double overtime in, yep. in college football, then you have to go for two. And if you're pretty proficient at doing it, it mm -hmm. puts the other team at a disadvantage. Now, I know in college they all practice it pretty consistently, yeah. but you get really good at it. I remember seeing there was a uh, 60 Minutes uh, episode segment. I might have seen it 10, 15 years ago. It might have been more, but this team, this high school team in um, Texas, one of them or whatever, they never punt. They always do an onside kick. Uh -huh. They never kick off. That's <laughs> all the coach does. And, you know, sometimes they would get, you know, they'd have games where they're on offense, like, you know, five, six, seven plays, uh, possessions in a row. Uh -huh. They'd score. They'd get the onside kick. That's all they do is yeah. practice onside kicks yeah. and stuff like that. I, so. I think I know what you're talking about. And then and they would just run up the score, and, and they didn't yeah. care at all. Yeah. A little squib kick. Fielded cleanly. 30 seconds to go. No damage done. Tackle by, I think that was Brennan. Zachary Brennan. Kick off field away number two. Senior, you said right? yeah, number yeah. Yep. 21. Zach That's right. He came in um, in the offense a couple times in that Dover Shervin game in the in the backfield. Uh huh. Yeah. I don't know if it was in. I, I, what's the strategy there? Is he just another blocker, really? Yeah. I I believe so. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He, I mean, he is a yeah, he is a good motor too. He's on, I'm pretty sure he's on gunk, too, blocking. Yeah, um, I've seen him in there. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying, on gunk. So Yeah, he's, 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 a, he's a good kid. He's a hard worker. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe if they are fortunate enough to get the score up there, they can give him some uh, touches. You got a little pressure there. That should be incomplete. Yeah, good job by 10, is that? It? Sales and number 10. Freels, I believe. Freels. Yeah. Sales and Freels. Sounds like a 70s duo. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah. Don't get me started on the 70s music. Seals and Cross. <laughs> that was good pressure from uh, that was good pressure from Vince and uh, Vince Mermelstein. Yep. And, uh, Is he the younger or the older of the he's two? The, he's the older. He's a senior. Uh, mm -hmm. His brother Mark is a sophomore. A sophomore, yeah. yeah. So, 13.8 seconds to go. Wolves looking to just get some positive yards out here to build on. And they do. They get about yep. nine and a half. See if the coach calls timeout. They're going to give him the first down. Probably. They give him the first down. Jared stops the Williams. clock temporarily as they move the chains. Initial contact by Zach Brennan, number 21, and then tackle by Kevin. Mosley. They'll let it run out, I guess. Yeah, they did. Thought they might try a hail mary or something I know. like that. I, I would. That's what I would have thought. Once too. they got to almost a fifty. Right? Yeah. yeah. How far can they throw it? I, well, I know Kavanaugh used uh, to be, and, and even Herder had, yeah. had quite an arm. But Herder, Herder had an arm. Uh, ah, yeah, definitely depends the quarterback. I, I'm sure. I'm sure Luke could have gotten it. If you have time 50. and you step into oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we how about were, you? We we're if only you're rushing three. If, oh, you, if you're if you're playing around with the, your buddies, mm, in the, you could you could probably give me 30, 35, right. 40 maybe. I was out here throwing the frisbee a couple weeks ago, just uh -huh. taking a walk, and I, I got I think 50 yards. That's about <laughs> 50 is my yeah, max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With a frisbee, not with a football. Oh, oh, no, oh, frisbee. Oh, oh. I was about to say. Yeah, but uh, so we got one half in the books here at uh, William Cunis Field, the Plateau Ash Ashland High School. Uh, it's 14 to nothing. Your Ashland Clockers. We're going to take a break. I'm Rob Silver with my partner tonight, Dylan Drozek. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast here on WACA TV. We'll be back shortly. 126 Self Storage is located at 162 Pond Street 
and is owned by Ashland native Michael Kane. Gated and fenced with 24-hour security cameras, they offer convenient drive-up storage units for both your residential and commercial needs. Temperature-controlled units and outdoor vehicle, boat, and RV storage is also available. Check them out at 126selfstorage.com. And thank you to Michael Kane for being a great underwriter for WACA's coverage of Ashland High School football games. WACA-TV's coverage of tonight's game is sponsored in part by Mr. Handyman, the home improvement professionals. They're your one-call solution for a wide range of home maintenance and repair needs performed by fully insured technicians. Located right here in Ashland at 200 Butterfield Drive, give them a call at 508-231-4639 or request service at mrhandyman.com. Techniplex Healthcare leverages its world-class materials science knowledge to deliver better patient outcomes by designing and manufacturing products that allow for less invasive procedures, reduce pain, enable faster healing, and safer drug delivery. Techniplex is proud to sponsor the 2023 Ashland I football team. Go Today's game is brought to you in part by Townhouse. Pizza, roast beef, subs, and more, make sure to get your fill with the buffalo chicken calzone that's been called one of the best in the area. Located at 300 Elliott Street in Ashland, give them a call at 508-881-3010 or find them on the web at townhousepizzaroastbeef.com. Today's soccer game is brought to you in part by the Ashland Ale House. With delicious food, a comfortable family atmosphere, and the friendliest service around, the Ashland Ale House is open for both indoor and outdoor seating, as well as curbside pickup. Visit them at ashlandalehouse.com to check out their menu and place an order. So it's halftime here at William Kunis Field. Got the flag football teams from Ashland. Cool Jacksonville Jaguar uniforms down here. I'm Rob Silver. I want to thank some of our sponsors from tonight. We have uh, sponsored the first game, but we had to cut that broadcast short due to lightning. But uh, Mr. Handyman, Handy, Mr. Handyman, the home improvement professionals, they're your one call solution for a wide range of home maintenance and repair needs performed by fully insured technicians. Located right here in Ashland at 200 Butterfield Drive. Give them a call at 508 231-4639 or request service at mrhandyman.com. Also, uh, I think I saw them out Monday morning in the driving rainstorm participating and sponsoring in the Ashley and Lions Golf Tournament. So, they sponsor a lot of things around Ashland and they have a great reputation. Storage, also sponsor tonight located 162 Pond Street owned by Ashland resident Michael Kane gated and fenced with 24-hour security cameras they offer convenient drive-up storage units for both your residential and commercial needs temperature controlled units and outdoor vehicle boat and RV storage is also available check them out at 126 selfstorage.com and thank you to Michael Kane for being a great sponsor for WACA's coverage of Ashland high school football games and one of our longtime sponsors, Technoplex Healthcare. Today's coverage brought to them in part by brought to you in part by Technoplex Healthcare. Technoplex Healthcare, say that three times fast, leverages its world-class materials and science knowledge to deliver better patient outcomes by designing and manufacturing products that allow for less invasive procedures, reduce pain, enable faster healing and safer drug delivery. Technoplex Healthcare is a proud sponsor of the Ashland boys football team and looks forward to a continued great 2023 season. And our other sponsor, Ashland Ale House, today's football game brought in part by Ashland Ale House with delicious food, a comfortable family atmosphere, and the friendliest service around. The Ashland Ale House is open for both indoor and outdoor seating, as well as curbside pickup. Visit them at ashlandalehouse.com to check out their menu and place an order. 
And again, feeding the crew tonight. Don't want to forget them. Let's hear it for Townhouse Pizza. Townhouse Pizza subs, roast beef, and more. Fill up again with a buffalo chicken calzone. Our own Dylan Drozek endorsing it. I had the roast beef sub. Huge sub. Could have fed two people, but I ate it all by myself. And uh, Josh Abrams, rave reviews on the hero. Located at 300 Elliott Street in Ashland. Give them a call, 508-881-3010. Find them on the web at townhousepizzaroastbeef.com. Make sure to follow all Coming back on the field, the Ashland Clockers. They'll start the second half with a 14-0 lead. They'll be receiving the kickoff as they deferred in the first half. Ashland's touchdowns. What do we have? Uh, Oza, Kevin Ozolumba scored one. Was it Crispin yep. with the first one? I forget um, already. Think back. It could have been. I think it was Crispin. Oh wait, no, Devin O'Brien on the, the uh, on the Wildcat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I, did he also get the two point conversion? Or you know how they ran that? The two point was Crispin. The end of it. That okay. One. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that was my confusion. Uh huh. Want to thank our crew tonight. With me on the mic is Dylan Drozek and uh, bringing the behind the scenes production. Uh, they don't get the recognition they deserve. On the cameras tonight, Mackie Kotob. We have Alicia Hall down on the field bringing you some great camera shots is Brady Montesino. And the production done by Jeff Hall and Paul Bowden. Thanks to the crew. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast here on WACA TV as we're just moments away for the second half kickoff. Any anything of uh, note to take away, Dylan, from that first half? Anything they can uh, do better? Um, I have a prediction. I think we get this kickoff, we get this kick return, and they start in gunk and they take this all the way down the field for a touchdown. I think I think you saw it working at the end of the first half, and I think they're just going to stick with it. Yeah, then this show, like you were saying before, the gunk tends to wear down a defense. Just run and it you down have so their many throat. Yeah. You have two-way players, but I would think two-way players get a little more exhausted on defense, chasing everybody yep. around and just, just getting hit. You kind of know if you're in, in the play on offense you, when you – not that you ever want to dog it, but you don't uh -huh. have to go 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crispin. Crispin, yeah, steps up to grab it. He's got a little room. Oh, almost, almost a face mask. It looks like somebody grabbed yeah. him around the field. Yeah. We'll check the tackle on the replay. WACA's replay cam. I like that it's, it's about 15, 20 seconds. So let's see. Too fast. Yeah. Once we get the slow mo replay, <laughs> then we're really uh, then we're slow mo really replay. Him. Do we have that yet? No. Okay. The first as half. predicted. Yep. First half of my prediction. True. I think we give it to Kevin Ozalumba. Sidesteps a defender. Nine yards. He had, a, he had a really good first half. Hopefully he keeps it up. Checks out of the game right now. Looks like they put in Devin. It's another big body. That's Omari Lee with the lead block. Yep. Devin O'Brien. Taking advantage of the blocking, gets seven. Yeah, that took down Amari. He's the uh, he's, he's the lead blocker behind Cam's mm -hmm. fullback sort of uh, position right now. One would never expect Omari Lee to be on the receiving end, especially now since he's going to be on the sidelines. And he checks out now. Yep. <laughs> he's in there, number. 12, who's number? Oh, on the uh, left side of the line. 
Fitz that's, O'Brien. Uh, yeah. It's Mark Marmostein, I believe, number 12. Yeah. Sophomore. And Brennan. Uh, it's a handoff to Crispin. To Crispin yeah. But yeah, uh, Brennan's in there in the, in the backfield. Primarily a blocker, but I think mm -hmm. if they get up 21 nothing, third, fourth quarter. You can see him getting the ball. Second and four for did you ever uh, get any touches on offense? <laughs> so my, our Thanksgiving game senior year, uh, we had a little trick play drawn up. Uh, it was 608 uh, Drozik pitch was the name. So Palin caught it right around that 30, that far 30 yard line. Yep. He ran a comeback and pitched it to me. Um, oh. oh, good good cutback there. Oh, that was an awkward tackle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Gets up good, which yep. is good. Um, but yeah, so he ran a comeback and I vaguely it to me. remember. Oh yeah, uh, I didn't get the first. Uh, it was about eight or nine yards. Uh, but the the safety did slip, and so he was the one that eventually made the tackle. But if he were to come up, or the corner, I should say, uh, if he were to come up and make try to make the play on Palin, would have been a lot of daylight for me. But that was that was funny though. That was a that was a good send off. Yeah. Goes Lumba again. Good run. Explodes, Stop. and he's gone. A good touchdown. Look at Nate finishing the block over there. Goes Lumba takes touchdown. it 30 yards. Way to keep the feet pumping. I mean, he made contact basically at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, they had him stop. Maybe a little, just, a little bit before that. And the hand tackles or the high tackles yeah. just aren't going to work on a guy with his power and his speed. Uh, you gotta, but the, but you the Wizard of O's. Yep. Yeah, you gotta you gotta wrap up, and uh, so it looks like my prediction uh, it came true. Yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. that's why I, like I said, I heavily recruited you for tonight's game. <laughs> I mean, I don't and think Wolf bounces back yeah. nicely. Good exchange there all around. I wouldn't say I went out on a limb. Uh, pretty easy prediction, but yeah, they uh, they came out and scored in the first drive, hit the uh, the PAT, they didn't go for two. Uh, make it a three-score game. Yeah, that was a good. That was a good drive. Yeah, it only took him uh, two minutes thirty-five seconds. Yep. And that's what Coach McKay wants to see coming out of the locker room. <laughs> Absolutely. Executed flawlessly. Yeah. A lot of a lot of big chunk uh, running yards, like you said, out of that package. It's just so difficult to defend and. Uh huh. Young guys, they're worn down, but they they had so many ten-yard runs. Yeah. yeah, it adds up over the span of a field. and then Yeah, and then that. Somebody gets tired, tries mm -hmm. to make an arm tackle right there, and then you see there's a one, but he takes it for six. By the way, it is packed here tonight. I don't yeah, know if at uh, yeah. some point the uh, Brady on the, on the field gets a uh, – gets a – chance to shoot the stands but had the cheerleaders do a nice halftime routine you have uh the like i said the flag football yep. squads yep. a little halftime play kicks it to the far corner pretty good kick took a little bit to field Almost wow turned. he's got some space makes a juke ah uh, trips up that could have been uh i could have went to the house he tripped up uh, looks like yeah. Someone, someone made a tackle. Number 34. Uh, Who's that? Oliver. LaRue. 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 Sophomore. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. A couple hit some of those blocks over there. He got a. Uh, yeah, that first guy couldn't get away from his block. He kind of had him back yeah, there, but yeah. he beat that. Got ahead of speed, and they uh, got some good field position to start off their first drive of the uh, second half. So the Neshoba Wolves take uh, take over and might be the best field position of the night on the Clocker 42 yard line trailing 21 nothing early here in the third quarter. Yep, yeah, and then and there's a lot of game left, so Clocker's got to uh, keep the foot on the gas here. Try to get a, try to get a stop here. 
A uh, little looks problem like with the chains, yeah. it looks like the, uh, I just noticed that as the well. Shoba team coming over to talk with the equipment manager. So a little delay in the action, and uh, actually that gives me a chance to um, just mention the coaches for Ashland. Reading the coaches alone could take a quarter, but uh, of course head coach Andrew McKay, but as uh, you mentioned before, doesn't do it all by himself. He's got a lot of help with him that work just as hard as he does. Uh, assistant coaches Matt Messer, Pete Zakili, John Champaglia, John Noel, Mark McKay, Brad Jackson, Joe Mispelli, Makia Lambert, Jason Mead, Griffin Marchand. And once again, recognize the captains for this Ashland squad, Cam Antonuk, Nate Cavanaugh, Jacob Friels, Tyler Pine, and Matthew Terry. Oh, and our trusty trainer, Amy Mendoza. Yep. And our athletic director knew this year. There he is running down the sidelines. Kevin Anderson gets passed by two of the uh, freshmen. Other freshmen, yeah. <laughs> wow, what's he? That's, that's like a 4 8. He's got, some, he's got some wheels. Yeah. He was, uh, he was he yeah, pretty that fast. Was, uh, yeah. The athletic director combine. He'll <laughs> place really well <laughs> yeah. against uh, the others. Chain still uh, issues might be a. a I wonder if he's something. going into the shed to find uh, the old chains or. Yep. He's running down. Is there a uh, shop class that uh, Ashland High School offered? Do they have a uh, like a shop a work workshop? Oh yep. Where yep. maybe somebody can uh, weld something <laughs> real quick. We don't have welder. I actually uh, I I took. It was called Makerspace. Uh, I took that my senior year. Was that like California Closets? What do you mean, no, ma Makerspace? Make, maker. Oh, Makerspace. Space. Okay. So uh, it was actually cool. He, he did like woodworking. Uh, there's no welding, but okay. did woodworking. We did some 3D printing and stuff. They got some cool uh What did equipment. you make in woodworking? Because I remember when I was in seventh or eighth grade, I made a pump lamp. I actually, my final project, I made a, uh, a stool. <laughs> Out of out of uh, out of two by fours. Uh, yeah, that's a good. Works. I good, sit on it. Can hold. <laughs> it can hold all my weight, so it must be. Uh, yeah. It must be pretty good. Nice. And we're back to action. It's a lateral. He's gonna try and Watch throw it. Throw. Yep. Underthrown. Crispin had the best beat on it. Good pressure by uh, Omari Lee. He. Uh, Little swing pass, uh, dude under threw it. Didn't really fool anybody. Uh huh. Yeah, I think he really exaggerated that uh, that loop to make sure it was backwards. Uh, mm hmm. I think they. Yeah. I think they must have saw if that. It's, if it's if it's much if it's a uh, a lot more like a you know right on the line uh -huh. of scrimmage you don't notice it as much but yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, that was a good kick out block by eighty. Uh, Nolan Losty for, for Neshoba. Yeah, Jared motion Williams, over, senior yeah. captain. Yeah. Took it out head for seven yards. Kicked out the DNA. Yeah. That's that that a good run. Third and short. What did you get in that class, by the way? Do you remember? Maker. Maker space? Maker, maker space. Uh, I finished with an A. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's a... It was, it was fun. I took it both yeah. I took it both semesters. Usually electives mm -hmm. in Ashland are, are a, a half year. Uh, I took it twice. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. He's in motion Probably again. Throws it away. A little, uh, little out route maybe or something, but we uh, actually brought some pressure. I think they changed the intentional grounding rule this year. Really? I, I think so. What do you uh, What do you think? Before you couldn't, I think you couldn't do that, like throw it to nobody, but it's, I think it's maybe the same now as the NFL. I'll have to double check that. Oh, it because like before, yeah. Oh, did he have a receiver like? It looked uh, like he was. It line. looked like he was breaking out for a, mm -hmm. uh, an out, like a little out route. Okay. Um, fourth down and three. Yep. 
Devine. Hands off to Note nice. and goes nowhere. Matt Cahill met right at the line. No gain, and it's a turnover on downs. Attack Ashland holds. Omari Lee, the tackle. Brought his name up three times this drive. <clears throat> He's having a good game. Yeah, it's nice to see. You could tell he was he was definitely a little uh, down on himself coming out of the game. He's checking out last right now. last uh, last week. Uh -huh. It's nice to see him come back strong. No All right. dunk anymore. There, Ashland's in the spread. Yeah, what are you what are you predicting? You've been in the pretty good. Now. Uh, I mean, try and get the passing game going to see yeah, if there's anything available. Probably run at this. Oh, yeah, never mind. Cam drops back. Oh, he's got him beat. Oh, yeah. Is that Pine? It's Tyler Pine. Oh, what a job. What, what a, a great job reaching out for that one. Yes, sir. Didn't want to waste that uh, nice pattern. That was nice. 15 and 21 yep. goes for 36 yards. I would have figured they. Antonuk to Pine. I would have figured they would have ran it, dra drained some clock, but why not air it out? But that—that's kind of what I was saying earlier, though. He throws a good ball, but he could have put a little more air under it. Uh -huh. He had enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they—they they definitely the—they definitely bit on the uh, on the yeah. play action. Yeah, Pine saved him there with a fantastic oh, yeah. diving catch. Oh yeah, that was sweet. Anthony deep in the backfield to take it. Gives well it to done. Crispin. Yep. Full head of steam. Gets five yards. <laughs> Good block. Good block in there by me. Cal has saw him all the way down the field over there. Second and five. He's, uh, he's chirping a little bit too. I like to see that. Uh, To the spread offense. See if they get uh, Robbie Rudisill in the game down here at the bottom. Yep, 22. Had a lot of catches last week. No handoff. This one owes a lumba. He's, oh, he I might be. Looked like maybe a horse collar, but he uh, yeah, <laughs> he didn't care. He kept running. Yeah, look at his pads. And now his jersey. Yeah, uh, jersey's over his pads. Coach Mass is uh, he's fixing it for him. Good stuff. Yeah, but Rudisil had uh, his first catches as a, well, he caught one the first, but he had his first touchdown as a varsity player last week. Yeah. Had probably six or seven receptions total. I think I saw that. A lot of short plays like they used to do to Kevin Russell, you know, yeah. taking advantage of the size. and uh -huh. They just kind of kind of work on their timing a little bit more so they're on the yeah. same page. Oh, and yeah. Just it's still early. Uh, yep. A lot of that is timing, you're right. So they'll, uh, you know, once they get that figured out, it'll be pretty dangerous. Heavy on the left side. Just been right up the middle for a couple. That's all they needed for the first down on a third and one. Should be up on the Jason Crispin. Brings up another first down. I think they went uh, a heavier package there with uh, Brennan. First and ten from the 16 yard line. Out there blocking. This is center for Ashley. Brian Ramirez, number 74. Crispin again. No. Another big carry. That one, maybe nine, eight, nine yards on a first down play. Well, of course. So they'll give him eight. Yep. Number eight, Jason Crispin, your ball carrier. Brings up second and two. A long two for Ashley. Does McKay think about in the play calling spreading like when you're up 21 nothing does he think about spreading around like give somebody else the ability to get a touchdown or does it uh, or is it more 
or does that not really factor into it? No, nah, I mean every it's it's mostly matchups, I'd mm -hmm. say. Sales with a little Z jet. Keep going outside. Oh, oh way to stay in bounds. That might be a touchdown. Oh. Ah, they called him short. Like here. Yeah. Like, like on this type of play. Does he give it right back to Sales so he can get uh, the touchdown? I mean, if they, if, if that's what looks right, I mean, he got a game there. They might run it back. I mean, I think earlier they ran the same play to Crispin twice in a row. I think it works. But, I mean, most I mean, most skill positions, they'll, you know, you, you got a game or two where you're the favorable matchup. And, uh... Yeah, yeah I didn't see it. Little, I didn't see it move. So. Big plays a little short, but yeah, no. I mean, if they like what they see, they'll keep they'll keep feeding yeah. you the ball. So, and 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 that's the thing is, that's why being unselfish is huge. So they got Zach Brennan as the up back, Fullback and uh, yeah, and uh, Crispin there. I'm looking. I don't see sales in there, so no. maybe Brennan will get one. No, nope, nice goes to blocking. Crispin. Good job by show, but it gets some uh, contact, but too much momentum. Crispin gets his first touchdown of the night. And the lead is now ballooned to 27. I did text earlier today to Josh Abrams, my uh, the other announcer. Yep. 42 to 14 was my prediction. Oh, wow. Even though the line was set at 14. Nice boot nice, by yep. uh, Extra Wolf. Two two teams, they, uh, they're clicking right now. That's that's another good thing to see. Yeah, you're, uh, you're, you're 14, minus 14 flat. I mean, you can't go over 14. <laughs> I, I, there's some people saying, you know, do 10, 11. I just yep. felt like, but you can't go higher than 14. It's disrespectful. Yeah, I was going to say disrespect my dad. and from the power ratings they don't count more than 14 anyways right yep yep you're right uh, 28 nothing versus a 14 nothing same same, the same thing, thing as far as yeah. uh, points yeah well Ashland betters very happy right now Hopkinton really got kind of the short end of the stick last year with that power rating thing because uh -huh. I think they were six and three and they did not make the playoffs. And you have some teams that are below 500 that did make the playoffs. Yeah, so yeah. It's uh, the it's not a it's not a perfect system. Yeah, but system. I mean, it's do what you can. So all right, see where Wolf gets it this time. See what they do. It's more of a kick. squid kick. Yeah. Oh, a little trouble fielding it. Wow, being run down from the other side. Uh, missed the tackle, but just enough to slow him up. Or no, the numbers are switched this way, so I think that's... that's yeah, Nick so Boomer. that's Boomer and oh, uh, 53, Josh Lambert. He slowed him down. Chasing yeah. him down yep. from across the field. Yeah, he almost had that tackle. He stayed stayed in his lane. He broke down. He was so close to making the uh, the solo tackle, but that was, that was good stuff. That was that was a better squib kick. Yep. Stayed low. Yep. Definitely oh, yeah, a little yeah. tough, tougher to the handle kick, than yeah. those when you get the high hops. Yeah. So Neshoba looking to get something strung together here on offense. Can't do it Play there. Like Vince. Yeah, yeah, almost the yeah. Yeah. Creels. Tried to, they tried to kick him out. He, he held the outside, set the edge. He made the play. It was good stuff. I mean, like we said at the beginning of the game, too, on paper it looked like, you know, it's, it could be a blowout, like it's a weak team. But, you know, you still got to execute. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the, you definitely kind of see a uh, difference in the the caliber, the quickness, just the size. Uh -huh. just. And Ashland definitely has a chip on their shoulder after that second half oh, yeah. against Wayland. They have something to prove. Yeah. Back to pass, got time, a lot of defenders. Yep. A little off the, uh, off the mark there. But no, yeah, you're right. Ashland is no, uh, they're in no position to start playing sloppy right now. 
uh, the rest, but after the loss too. And uh, I mean, they're they are playing good right now too, but there's definitely you know some things to to clean up too. So yeah, McKay wants to see a complete oh, yeah. game. He'll he, I, he he can j get just as mad you know being up 28 to nothing as. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm missing the tackle in a close game. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, a fumble. Oh, yeah. Ball's loose. It's kicked around. Three clockers there yeah. to jump on oh, it. Yeah. Ultimately covered, I think, by uh, yeah. Terry. Uh, uh, 45. Luke O'Brien. Luke O'Brien with the recovery. Nice, nice. That was just a I don't know how it sloppy up. handoff. Yeah. I had the binoculars up. It just, he just it was right there. Number four just missed it. Uh -huh. Not to call out Matthew Cahill, yeah, but yeah, they, uh, I know, yeah, looked they like a clean handoff. They sent a blitz too, uh, I, uh, I believe. So mm -hmm. a lot of commotion, and then the fumble just uh, got loose. Somehow ended up yeah, past somebody, the line of scrimmage. Somebody yeah, kicked it somebody home. kicked it. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was, I think you're right. Three, three, two or three clockers yep. on the ball there. So Ashland takes over after the turnover on the Neshoba Wolf 35 yard line. Oh, back and gunk. We're doing a little clock drain here. Mm -hmm. This one goes to Friels. To Friels, yeah. And he is gone. He's loose. He's got one defender to beat. Got it. That might be in. He's yeah. in for a touchdown. <laughs> Jacob Friels takes advantage of his uh, oh, yeah. one offensive play and takes it 35 yards to the house. Oh, he's fired off right now. <laughs> I love that. Carried the defender the last 10 yards. Yeah, he had him. He had the, he had the jersey on the shoulder, but he kept running, kept moving the feet, and he got in for six. Another good Wolf PAT, yep. Extra point by is good. Beautiful. Kicks it hard. Yeah, yeah. That was a laser. And it goes in, so. Almost, yeah, almost like he needs to take a little bit off it, uh -huh. but then it screws up your timing. Exactly. So yeah. with the uh, with the lead, it should be 35 nothing. They deducted a point. They keep the clock running in the uh, second half when the lead is more than a certain amount. I think it's might even be 30 points for 28 more than Pro yeah probably so 30 if uh so it's a running clock wasn't running before yeah but not sure why the score went from 34 to 33 when he made the point so well we'll work on that yeah, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll fix that I'll get on that so an offensive explosion here in the third quarter 21 points on the heels of uh three touchdowns that one by Jacob Friels, a 35-yard run. We had uh, Jason Crispin and uh, Kevin Ozalumba with his second touchdown of the night. Yep. Not sure what they're waiting on. Might even let the uh, clock expire and oh. take it to the fourth quarter of the plate. And uh, let the quarter go. Yeah. That seems like the strategy. That's what it looks like, yeah. So the running clock, because of the, uh, the large lopsided lead, 35 to nothing. There it goes. We're going to head to the fourth quarter. It's the Ashland Clockers leading 35 to nothing. Capitalizing on a turnover, which was recovered by Luke O'Brien. Jacob Friels, one play, 35 yards. And the clockers are leading 35 to nothing. I'm Rob Silver with Dylan Drozek here on WACA TV. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast. If you are, put it in the comments. <laughs> And if you're not, still put it in the comments.
Is this ideal football weather, Dylan? This is beautiful right now. This is beautiful. This is probably, is this the, what else could you ask for? There's oh, no yeah. breeze. I mean, oh, yeah. it's Six. cooling off, but he's down. Yeah, I'll just take that. Fielded it on his knee. 60, 60 degrees. You're right, no wind. I mean, was there any um, under the lights? Beautiful. If you were playing in the rain or the wind, were, were you you were in that game? We had that big rain game against so it was at Medfield where we oh, yeah. had to pull it out at the end, and it was um, who's the Jared McGoff had to yep. take it in from McGough. the one yard line. Uh, the oh yeah, come in for an injury. For Herter, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, but that was that was what's it? that was for the uh, that was for the TVL uh, title. Yeah, my, ju uh, my junior year, it was it was basically you went we win it, and it's ours. Uh, yeah, that was. Uh, they had nothing to lose. I mean, we had a really sloppy first half. Uh, yeah, Medfield. I don't think they had a win that year. I mean, maybe, well, definitely maybe not won. in the TVL. Yeah, but not in the TVL. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That no, was the COVID year. It was a little. Uh, a nifty run yeah. by number 27. Good tackle. Luke O'Brien, I think. Yeah. yeah. On the tackle, but uh, good play. Good run by uh, the senior, O'Brien. Oh, excuse me. Uh, he is 27. He's uh, Will, uh, Williams? Jared Williams, yeah. Yeah, that play went for uh, 27 yards. That was a, that was a pretty big Number game. 27 for 27 yards. Yeah, their biggest play of the night. By far, yeah. It's really bothering me that the scoreboard says 33. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They go That's right back to him. Huge uh, hole. He didn't even have uh, anybody close to him no, until yeah. he was 15 yards down the field. And yeah, they got a. Uh, they blocked that up pretty good. Some of the uh, some of them got sucked in a little bit. Yeah, it looks like some of the uh, second string is in there on defense. Yep. Definitely. Giving him some minutes, yeah. So see if they can step up to the challenge and uh, keep the shutout for the uh, first uh, stringers. Uh, oh. Yeah, I think that was... Um, 59, my old number. Uh, I think that was Alfredo. Nito. He just wanted his name called. Uh, well recognition, yeah. There's other ways to do it. <laughs> Fourth quarter. Approaching the nine minute mark to go. 35 to nothing. The Wolves looking to get on the scoreboard. Couple big runs by Williams. Just swing it He's going to gonna throw. That's another lateral, but uh, yeah. this one's definitely a run. He's got some room. Uh, down to the one. He might, he looked like he was down from here. I'll see what they call. Yep. Pass was big another two. Was down. Joseph. His knee was down. They, oh, they back to 34 yards. Maybe he missed Joseph the extra point. Did he miss it? Yeah, I, I thought it was good. I, I thought it was good. Yeah. Although I didn't really look at the refs. I thought they said it was good, but. Well, I'll maybe, watch the game film uh, tonight. Maybe we were mistaken. I don't know. Yeah. So it's either 34 nothing, 35 nothing. Unless 21 more points are scored, it's really not a factor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they rush to the line. Yep. Try to catch uh, Ashlyn off guard. Give it to the fullback. 27, the senior captain, right, Jared Williams. Middle. Yep. It's a. Uh, did he hold up the one or two? They go. They're gonna go for one. He's bringing in the uh, Kicking the tee. Yep. Okay. Twenty-nine. Joseph Trippy, freshman. Wow. Good snap. Good hold. A nice kick. Looks pretty good, yeah. That's good. Joseph So just like that, lead is now 34-7. Seven minutes and 15 seconds to go. Clock is running. Yeah, it looks like it's still running. So maybe it's not. Maybe it's not 30. I don't know what. 
Yeah, and the other thing, and then um, I think it's different third quarter versus fourth quarter, and then uh -huh. maybe you forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah. 35, he's correcting yeah. him. Thank you. Love that ref. 35 to 7. So if it is 28, then that's why we're still running. Still running the we'll, clock, we'll, yeah. We'll look that up. Our viewers that will be here next week. Next week's game against a strong upcoming, well, upcoming, they, they've been strong for the last few years, but Bellingham yeah. coming to town. It's going to be Josh Abrams and uh, Chase Abrams. Abrams and Abrams on yeah. the mic. Nice. Next week. Yeah, Bellingham's had a, uh, they've had a pretty good program uh, at least the past, yeah, four or five years. Yeah, I forget, they have a, there's a couple brothers, I think, that are seniors, I forget the name, yeah. that are mm -hmm. really, really strong. That'll be a good test before they uh, head into the Tri-Valley yeah. large, large action. Yeah. It's going to be a tough, tough yeah. division again. Uh-huh. Yeah, they already have a uh, they already have a TVL small win with uh, with Dover Sherburn, Sherborn. Yep. Uh, so then, looks like they had the Ashland had the hands team out there, maybe expecting a uh, an onside Top kick, but the Tekna show the squib it. But yeah, no, they get another uh, they get another TVL small matchup, and then you head into the uh, the meat of the season with a, with a large. So. This game, pretty safe to say, this is going to be a win. I think it's week out a win next week too. It'll be, uh, it'll be pretty good rolling through the, uh, rolling into the. Uh, yeah, that would be definitely a quality win if they can uh, beat Bellingham next uh -huh. week. Yep, yep. Good for their confidence as well. So let's see, who do we have in here? Uh, ben Atherton, I believe. Sophomore quarterback. They uh, checked into the game. Did you ever come out? Or were you of the game? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll eventually, yeah. Th in the third and the fourth, when uh, mm -hmm. the lead was was. Yeah, you was had big, some, yeah. you guys had some big. Uh, yeah. But it was. Uh, Atherton fakes the pitch. Running gunk. Keeps it up. The, ooh. Nice. That ball almost slipped out. Yeah. Yeah. Got to make sure you hold on to that. Can't afford a turnover, really. Uh, no. Turnover would not be good. No. No. Any no. any moment in the game. But um. But yeah, they would. I would. They would take so me out usually at third or fourth. Ten. But ten. if our backups were to score, I was still on PAT. We only had one PAT team. So I would be sit so I'd be sitting on the or standing on the sideline uh, for for <laughs> what twenty minutes I don't know twenty five minutes yeah and then we score and I'm you know I'm, I'm not I'm, focused I'm not yeah, loose anymore watch, yeah, yeah, I'm all, yeah I'm all I'm all tight I'm I'm still cheering on my my you know my boys but yeah <laughs> then I gotta run, run out there, there and, and get ready to you know go full speed it was. Uh, it was, uh, it was funny. Pitch to 25, Malachi, Malachi Lambert? Or yep. Yeah, Malachi. Pitch to number 25, Malachi Lambert. Dante Maloney is in the uh, in the backfield as well, number 26. Long string of Maloney's. Yep. Is he uh, a brother to J Jake or uh, just a relative? I believe so, yeah. So 2.36 to go. Atherton under center. Keeps it himself again. Gets three yards and a first down. First, yep. Right back keep it up. Number 17, Ben Atherton. That's good for an Ashland first down.
So. Yeah, you can hear them. You can hear them cheering them on. Yeah, it's it's, it, it, it's fun when uh you know some of the guys that uh, don't play as much to see the field towards the end of a game like this. Yeah, uh, I would imagine so. You know, you work so uh -huh. hard in practice and. Yeah. You know, you'll get it down the road for a lot of these sophomores and freshmen or whatever. They'll see some playing time. Yeah, yeah. But. Yeah, that was one of, uh, jeez, really they're keep pushing. Atherton. Good hustle. Nine yards. Good push there by the line. Um, mm -hmm. oh, that, was, that was one of my favorite favorite moments playing. Uh, I don't know if you remember the Westwood game. That was our senior night. Uh, Michael Diaz. With the pick, yeah, I he, called that yep. one. I called he it. He got the interception, and we're so we're all lined up, and yeah, he gets the pick, and he's I mean he's going, and we're like we're all screaming, we're like, let's go, Diaz, Diaz, and then he gets tracked, he gets line. tracked down, at, yeah, like the, the two the, one, the, something like that, the one two yard Just line, a, yeah, because I had called right before that. You can even hear me. I'm like, this would be a good time for a pick six because I think <laughs> I I think I had predicted like Ashley to score like over 41 points, and I think. If he had done that on that pick yeah. six, uh, uh, yeah. Be a false start here. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty incredible. No, I, no. I know. You can see if you watch the replay. I I remember the whole line, the whole team jumping oh, up and down, yeah. like yelling. That was awesome. That was awesome. And, yeah, we, you know, gave him, uh, gave him crap for that later. There we go. Victory formation, I think, is coming out right now. He's looked like the starters. Uh, they will mm -hmm. probably take a knee here and uh, finish off the game. You should probably rush down there. They probably want to give you the game ball. <laughs> I don't even think they have to snap it. No. Nope. nope. So that one is in the books. The Ashland Clockers go to 2-1 and one on the season with an impressive performance here at... The Plateau, William Kunis Field, Ashland High School. That's the game. Final score scoring game. started. Um, uh, what, what, what was the scoring recap, Dylan? Who, who scored first? Was it? Uh, it started. Oza, was it Ozalumba? Either. It, it, and then Devin O'Brien scored yeah. the second Major touchdown from the Wildcat. Yeah, I think Crispin got one. Then Ozalumba again, and then Crispin in the, that Go quarter. Yeah. Followed up by. Capped off by uh, Jacob Friel's 35-yard yep. run. That yeah, ended yeah, the yeah. scoring. And then the uh, some of the backups came in on defense. Neshova was able to take advantage of that with a couple big running plays on the heels of uh, their senior captain, Jared Williams. They were able to put in the end zone, and that completed the scoring, 35-7. Quick game because of the MIAA rules that allow for a running clock when the score the league gets to a certain amount in the second half. So yep. uh, early night for the crew. We want to thank everybody again for WACA uh, that was uh, helping out tonight. Mackie Kotob, Alicia Hall, new to the uh, football team broadcast. Welcome. Her dad, Jeff Hall, downstairs uh, running the production, helping with a nice replay. We had uh, Brady Montesino down with the field cam bringing you some really, really good uh, angles and shots. Mm -hmm. And Paul Bowden overseeing it all. My partner tonight, coming down from UNH, Dylan Drozek. It was a pleasure to have you. Pleasure. Thank w you for having would me. Would you do it again if we had an opening? This, this was a lot of fun, yeah. This was a lot of we, fun. We too. might be able to have you back. Uh, it's an October 14th game. But, yeah, I mean, this, between this and the basketball, we uh, – Yeah. Add this to your resume. Yeah, we've, had, we've had some fun on the uh, on the mic. Yeah, definitely. So uh, might see you back then if uh, if it fits in with mm -hmm. your schedule. Yep. But that about does it here. We want to thank our sponsors once again real quickly. Uh, Mr. Handyman, 126 Self Storage, Ashland Alehouse, Townhouse Pizza, Technoplex Flexibles. Thank you again for supporting Ashland Clockers and uh, all sports. So that'll do it for tonight. Again, the final score, 35 to seven, Ashland Clockers go to two and one on the season. For Dylan Drozek, I'm Rob Silver saying good night and go Clockers. <laughs>